I got to ask you a question. Uh, it's a personal one. Yeah. But seeing where you think we're headed in Canada with private health, uh, private maybe private health care, private schools. I mean, I, it really resonates with me. I want to put my, my youngest there in, in right. monastery school next right. year. Um, does that mean, in your opinion, that Canada is losing its value as a place to live, as a one of the best places to live in the world? You know, like, how do you how do you view that? Because we, we pay a lot of taxes here, so we're supposed to be getting, a, there's supposed to be a value exchange from the taxpayer and the services. But the services are going down. But taxes are going down. Well, let me uh, let me answer the question uh, this way. Uh, what's happened to the birth rate in Canada, in the United States, in Europe, but even in Russia and China in the last twenty years? I think it's down fifty percent. That's a guess. It's down substantially. Do you know? The, is it around fifty percent or? Well, it's gone from something like. A, 2.2, 2.3, which means that every couple, uh, uh, on average, every family has 2.3 children, so the, the, the population is growing. Now it's around 1.7. <clears throat> so you have a shrinking demographic in the Western world. Fascinating, because right? as we know, we need population growth to grow GDP. That's right. So. You asked me, the question was, well, is, is Canada going to be a place of lesser pleasantness to be living in or more pleasantness? Well, we know that if the population shrinks, uh, there's less demand and growth diminishes. Mm -hmm. Growth is caused by two things, tech, apparently, technological improvements and, and demographics. So the demographics is bad. Now I ask you, well, if the world, if if the world here was so good, and if everything is so wonderful, why in the West, and actually other countries as well, why is the population shrinking? Well, when I speak to uh, uh, some people who are like in their thirties or whatever, I personally find a lot of people in their thirties are quite negative on the world, are quite negative on life. I I would agree in my own circle. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, why have kids? The world's a terrible place, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So when you ask me, well, what's going to happen to the to the quality of life in Canada or, or Europe? Is is it going to diminish? Well, if the quality of life was that good, why is the population shrinking, and why are there so many people who think life's particularly problematic? What I'm trying to say is that uh, the quality of life is actually going to improve once people start to get that. Um, life's about learning, life's about doing, life's about thinking. Having it's a not, a, it is better to give than to receive. Right. Right. So having that's, a purpose. that's, you know, that may come from the New Testament. I'm not sure, but somebody said it better to give than to receive. Right. Right. John Kennedy asked not what your country can do for you, what you can do for your country. That's what creates happiness. That creates a good, a good lifestyle, a good, a good value of life. It's not just about physical goods. So that's well said. Yeah. So that's my answer. And I mean that honestly.